Graham Mack in the morning. I bought a golden ticket, a Big Brother golden ticket. A lady called Janet yesterday it was lovely. She's going to donate the £150 to charity. Good for her. Now I don't know what to do with the ticket. My immediate thought was that Richie should go into the house, but he seems a bit lukewarm on the idea. Oh, t positively cold. What do you think I should do with this golden ticket? Bournemouth 23, 4,000. Roger is hanging on. Yeah, well, do you remember, as I'm, well, I'm sure you do, a few months back, Richie went on some dog show which was going to be televised, and this was going to, according to him, be his step into television work and fame and fortune. That's right. He was on the cusp of leaving this show for a, a highly telling. lucrative television contract, yes. Well, now he's got a chance to get some prolonged television exposure. Exactly. I feed him on. I he he actually was seeking out television work. No I one never. forced him into hosting that dog show, which turned out to be a dog of a show. Now, listen. listen. Was, what was it? It was fancy dressed dogs or something you hosted? No, it was a dog fashion show. Yeah, a dog different. fashion show. Oh, I'm now, so sorry. There's a big difference. Now, listen. Yeah. At the time, I said that I reckon I could carve out a great career in the niche of animal TV show hosting. <laughs> yes. I reckon I'd be good at that. I'm a natural with animals. Yeah. I don't think I'd be so good at this whole Big Brother thing. That's why I'm not putting myself forward for it. Yeah, I did want to leave the show and become a dog but show host. Which but which one of us went out of his way to try and develop a TV career. I did. Well, there you go. Yeah, but in that but niche. Now what's not in this now? niche. I don't want this niche. You can't be fussy. Beggars can't be choosers. I want the craft skate. I think you should go in. No. Yes. We sent the the Beagle spacecraft to Mars and, um, <laughs> well, it didn't make it. It got lost. <laughs> no one knows what happened to it. <laughs> but that's not going to stop Britain's space plans. No. We're going back to Mars. Unfortunately, it's the same team that lost Beagle. <laughs> yes. So, the name of the new probe? Bridget. Bridget. <laughs> Bridget has landed. <sighs> now, there are pictures of Bridget. Yeah. Bridget looks like a six-wheeled pram. <laughs> You're quite right, Graham. Some of the technical um, spec of Bridget. Yes. A top speed of 0.1 mile an hour. And a 20 minute delay in radio contact from the probe to Earth. Now that's going to cause some problems, isn't it? Yes. It's going to. Hey, Colin, uh, are we going to hit that rock there? Yeah, we are. Better tell the probe to turn right. <laughs> to CRFM's breakfast. Buckingham Palace, good morning. Hello, it's Graham Mack uh, calling. And Richie. From 2CRFM in Bournemouth. We wanted to wish the Queen a very happy 80th birthday. Okay, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, hang on, hang on. Is she there? Hello? I'm sorry, I don't give out information like that. What, you can't say whether she's there or not? Well, it should be obvious. The flag will be up. Well, then. Well, we, oh, right, so you, we can't talk to her? No. Okay, well, can you pass this message on? Yes, I will. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lizzie. Happy birthday to you. Now, as you know, I bought a golden ticket from a lady called Janet who works at Seawood. I've registered it. They've done a lot of background checks on me. There's a police check hang hang going on right now, and nine o'clock I've got to drive straight to London to be there for 12.30. For screening, they reckon that'll take five hours. They're doing psychometric tests. What the hell is that? Is anyone ever, how do you cheat on one of them? Can someone tell me? <laughs> I don't oh, think geez. you can. <laughs> Whatever. No. Uh, they say I'll be in the diary room today. I'm guessing they're just going to film a bit to pitch for why I should go into the Big Brother house. Yes. Yeah. To be shown on telly on Friday night, I reckon. Well, if I get through this today, I'll be on the TV show on Friday yeah. night. And someone from that, one of the golden ticket holders, will be sent into the house. Mm, then it's big time. So since this has all been going on, and Big Brother's been phoning me on my mobile a lot, uh, I've been watching the show as much as I can, because I've got to get up to speed, because 
I didn't watch it that much before. I knew it was on. I was interested in it. You hated it. All right. Well, bloody hell. They could be listening, Rich. Don't ruin it for <laughs> me. Okay. I'm pretending I'm a big fan okay, here. Okay, right. CCRFM. Our favourite story of the morning is the BBC who interviewed a taxi driver thinking he was an IT specialist. It was a bit of confusion. The runner ran out to get him from the reception. The IT specialist had gone to the toilet. The taxi driver was there holding the guy's name badge. <laughs> Next minute, he's live on TV, asked about the iTunes Apple thing yeah the and the, the bloke that. played along with it live on tv would a dorset taxi driver do that let's cross now live to thunder amy where are you right now amy i'm outside the train station okay now what we want you to do is find the taxi driver there tell him you're a 2crfm news reporter and you're live on the air and your guest has not showed tell him he has to pretend to be the guest we want to see if the taxi driver yes. will play okay, along okay where are you going <laughs> Hiya, excuse me. I'm really, really sorry, but I'm supposed to be interviewing someone today and they just haven't turned up. I was wondering, his name's Dr. Saunders. He's from the IT Institute. Would you help me out? Because we're going to go live in a minute. And we just need, I just need someone just to pretend to answer the questions no, for the no. IT. Go on. Go. Well, five, four, three, two, one. Hi. Hi, Graham. I'm with Dr. Saunders from the IT Institute. You okay today? Yes, thank you. Oh, brilliant. Dr. Saunders, were you surprised by the verdict on Friday? Uh, not really. Not really, not me. That's fine, that's fine. Um, well, do you think will uh, more people be downloading now? I would think so, yes. Yeah, why do you think this is? Well, if they can get away with it, they're going to do it, aren't they? And is this the way the music industry is progressing now? Unfortunately, yes. It is. Why, unfortunately? Well, I don't think it's a good idea, personally. But, Dr Saunders, you're from the IT Institute. So? It does still doesn't... It, my own opinion is my own opinion. He's Amy, doing very... Wind up the interview, Amy. Thank you ever so much, Dr Saunders. I really appreciate you talking to me today. Graham, this is Amy outside the train station in Bournemouth for 102.3 TCRFM. Very well done, well, Amy. Breakfast. There's been a lot of releases from Buckingham Palace over the years, and uh, one of the ones that has come out this week is uh, all the state visits the Queen has been on uh, since she became Queen in 1947. Well, because let's remember that she's the Queen not only of Great Britain. Yes. She's the Queen... She's She's the head of the Commonwealth, mm. so I would have thought there's quite a bit of travelling involved in that gig. Oh, there's a lot of travelling, uh, Graham. In the first year, in 1947, she did over 11,000 miles. That's not that far. New Zealand is 12,000 miles away one way. If she just went there once, that would be 24,000 miles. She only did 11,000. Very good. valid point. Okay. In fact, as the years have gone on, you would have thought with the development of air travel, she would have done more miles. Plus, with her being older, and they love coach trips. <laughs> In 2004, she'd only did 1,000 miles to France and Germany. In 2004, she never left Europe? No. And France and Germany not even in the Commonwealth? No. You, you mean in 2004, she didn't visit any Commonwealth nations? No, no, no. It's also listed the amount of times she's visited nations. Mm, okay. Uh, one of the world's biggest, Russia, only once. Mm. Uh, some of the furthest away, uh, New Zealand, nine times. Now, wait a minute. 80 years, she only went to New Zealand nine times. That's what about right. Australia? Uh, 16. She went to Australia 16 times. That's almost double. But uh, New Zealand's only down the road. You yeah. mean she didn't pop in? No. She went all the way to Australia <laughs> 16 times, yeah. but only nine of those she went to New Zealand. That's right, yeah. Okay. The one that's uh, in the lead is uh, a slightly odd one. 28 visits in her time as Queen to Canada. Right. Well, you see, you're Canadians. Mm -hmm. if, if there's anyone you're in danger of losing your head on the money of, mm -hmm. it would be Canada. Let's not forget Canada, one of the few Commonwealth countries that no longer has the Union Jack on their flag. Oh, yeah, they've got the maple leaf now, they? They put that on there in 1965. 1965. Mm. I think you'll know. She's obviously been going over there mm. trying to get them to put the flag back on. <laughs> put the Union Jack back on the flag. Uh, have a look at the visits and see Actually, if they ramp up distinctly after 1965. 65 was the year. 65 okay. is when they put a dead leaf on their flag. Yeah. In 1966, she visited Canada. There you go. <laughs> and in 67. How about that? <laughs> and in 1970, twice. Yeah. And in 71. They must be getting sick of her. 28 times. Oh, jeez, it's not her again. <laughs> it's not the hat lady. <laughs> I was just wondering about this flag. <laughs> 2CRFM's Breakfast. With Sun Silk.